All right, parents, you know the drill. Soccer practice, karate class, piano lessons, repeat. And dealing with the chaos of after-school activities translates to countless hours behind the wheel. But there's now an app that could solve that problem. And it's called Hop, Skip, Drive. And it's like having a nanny and Uber or Lyft all in one. But is it safe? Well, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn's going 360, exploring every curve and bump in the road. It's a fast, convenient, and easy way for you to get to work, the airport, or home after a few drinks. But let's put down the beer and pick up the juice box. Wow. An Uber for kids? You heard that right. If you didn't already know, there's now a quote, Uber for kids. It's a company called Hop, Skip, Drive. And just like its counterparts, Uber and Lyft, in the adult world of ride sharing, it's changing the way families get around. You know, I think it's a good idea for the right situation. We're going 360, exploring multiple perspectives and how it works, starting with a parent who's already a believer. It's really easy. The drivers are super friendly. David Chavez is a single dad. Being a single father, I think that it uh, it helps out a lot, especially, you know, if you work full time. Parents don't have the resources to go and pick up their children. I would get out of work early and I had to make up my time somewhere else, you know, some other day. Here's how it works. Just like other rideshare apps, parents select a pickup place, drop off location and a time up to to eight hours in advance. But unlike adult ride sharing apps, Hop Skip Drive has parents select a password. Tanya, um, your code is. A code Tanya? that must be known by the kids and the drivers. Your birthday, please. And drivers like Naftalina Allen are put through the ringer when it comes to background checks. They can check everything, the record and everything, make sure we are who we are. Parents can also give special instructions. Hi, Damien. Like going into the school or up to the door when picking up younger kids. Give me your birthday, please. So it can be a secure pickup. Many drivers are caregivers by trade. Naftalina is an elder care specialist and now a kid chauffeur. I can highly recommend for parents, you know. As you can imagine. Here's your very own cheese pizza. Just like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone 2, many kids are big fans. That's fun. Like, and the bus is always noisy and over here is like chill. I just today feel like we're going to get there early and finally have some like free time. In the Kinsey household. Mmm, they're good. I'm the mom of an 18 month old and a three and a half year old and we are very busy all the time. <laughs> like a like this. Busy mom Amanda. Uh, where's the other fairy? And her husband uses a similar service called Nano. Not a ride share, but a nanny share. What I feel like it's allowed me to do is to build a stable of people that I trust and can rely on so that I know that like someone will probably be available. While the Kinseys are comfortable with nanny share, they're on the fence about hop, skip, drive. If the vetting process is, is thorough and they've got quality people coming through and I have an opportunity to get to know some of those people, yes. But would I hire a driver I had never met to pick up my child? No. It is certainly a delicate proposition. There's always reluctance when it's your kids. The age limit for riders is six and older. Still, some parents question the naivety of young kids. What if? If there's someone posing as a driver who's able to convince your kids to ditch the universally accepted rule, never get in the car with a stranger. No, thank you. I'll drive my own kids. Yet we found the overwhelming majority of parents do seem willing to give it a test drive. I think it's hard for moms and dads sometimes to get their kiddos everywhere they need to go. If they're vetted and they've got the background checks and, and one night, that might be a good idea. I think if they leverage the technology appropriately for, for valid tracking, that would be a good thing. Obviously, as a parent, you've got to be concerned a little bit about trusting who you're going to leave your kids with. But I think if like they were old enough to some degree, I'd, I'd feel safe if they were properly vetted and had a pretty good background check. Our changing world, where ride sharing is becoming more mainstream at virtually any age. I like it way better than riding the bus. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.